hello and welcome back to my vlog where I've been sharing my authentic journey towards whole greater health. If you're just jumping in today, you know, I hope that if you resonate with this, that maybe go back and start at the beginning. Uh, this is a sort of a chronological view of oh, all the things that I've been through over my lifetime uh, and, you know, what I've learned, the struggles I've been through, offering you some tips and suggestions on you know, maybe how to get through those struggles in, in a greater, healthier way and truly find that authentic being that you are and that you know you can be and want to be. Hi, I'm Andrea Coulter and I am a doctor of medical health kunst and homeopathy and the founder of the IOMA Healing System, in case you don't know. This week, I'm going to continue on sort of going through, last week I was going through my getting into my 20s more and some of those struggles you know we had trying to be an adult and figuring out responsibilities and if we really want to take on those responsibilities uh, and so i had shared with you last week a little lesson about uh taking control of your thinking and your thoughts because for me that was after diet and nutrition and you know all those great things that i talked about in previous vlogs so be sure and go back and watch those um, but at this point in my life, I was starting to really be aware of, well, you know, diet and nutrition have only taken me so far and making sure I'm eating well and exercising and taking care of my health physically, I had started to recognize that I wasn't, I wasn't happy on so many other levels, you know, and it's interesting because I hadn't actually shared that I had started going to a naturopath, as you know, those of you who follow along. Uh, way back in my early teens when I got sick and then so now in my 20s even though I'd been kind of doing my own thing for a while and not up my ups and downs and just trying to figure it all out I realized that I really needed help again and so I had reached back out and, and found this amazing fellow in sort of north of Kitchener area you know that did live blood analysis and worked with you know spirogerics and homeopathics and and herbs and nutrition like um, nutraceuticals like very specific uh, nutrients that the body might require if you're deficient so I actually started going to him and again learned some amazing things by going checking out my blood work it was interesting because a lot of my stuff was uh, hyperimmune uh, issues going on so truthfully if I probably got tested I probably had an autoimmune disease of some sort because uh, I was always tons and tons of white blood cells which were coagulating and my red blood cells were slow and sluggish and I had it was really interesting if you've never done live blood analysis definitely go check it out it's it's again it's just another modality but it can kind of give you a shot in the dark in the moment to realize oh what the heck is going on I truly believe in getting sort of physical testing done and every few years I go into my regular doctor and I get blood work I get a full scope done just so I can monitor and see how's everything going at a physical because you know, if you've been following along my Own Your Own Shit show, you'll know that we talk about the body-mind connection. And of course, that your thoughts and your emotions affect your physical body as much as what you put in your physical body affects your mind and your emotions. So, you know, you can't, ha you can't fix one without the other. But at this point in my journey, I truly was just fixing my physical body. And, and I had just really started to look into, well, maybe there's something else going on here, you know. So with working with uh, Murray, I started to realize that, okay, diet and nutrition, yes, are very important again. And maybe there was bigger things I was missing on a physical level. So that's what I started to dive into. And, you know, and that's where I discovered homeopathy. That was the first time I'd really been given homeopathic remedies and when, how I started to differentiate them between, you know, herbals, nutraceuticals, food, um, all the other essential oils, everything has its time and its place. And if you want to learn a little bit more about, about that, I, um, I own my healing course, which goes into all of those things. And I'll put the link over here and you can check it out. But in the meantime, you know, I was starting to re-go back and look at my physical body thinking, oh, I just need to fix it some more. And over that journey, again, working with Murray and picking up my energy on a physical level, I still couldn't get happy. Like I said in the last video, I just, ah, you know, it just what is the point in it all you know i still was struggling with that issue uh and i was struggling with you know am i ever going to find uh somebody to go out with that you know that i connect with that actually doesn't isn't an idiot you know <laughs> again you know that's where i was at I, of course i look back now and i i laugh at 
all the struggles I've been through and, and how I was viewing life, but it was my journey and that's how I saw it. I want to know, well, doing these videos, share with me, you know, what was your journey? What did you struggle most with and what did you do and try? Because uh, this is about sharing ideas. Like I said, if you've never done live blood, ana blood analysis, may maybe go check it out. You know, if you've been to the doctor and had a whole scope of blood work done and you kind of know this and this and this is, is a little off, you'll be surprised what live blood will tell you. You know, and then you could come to me. I still do one-on-ones. I have a, you know, very tight practice, but I do one-on-ones where I have my own bioresonance machine and my own knowledge for the last 35 years that I've learned and gone through, you know, as well as my own intuition. And I, I, I you know, I'm very good at understanding states and, and how, how you got where you are, which is what this journey is about, is my own journey about how I got to where I was and where I am today. So uh what am i doing oh yeah so <laughs> so looking at you know re-looking at the physical body and re-tightening down my nutrition you know in my 20s it all of a sudden dawned on me that wait a sec no matter how clean and healthy i am physically i'm i'm not making any changes truthfully at a deeper level in my thoughts and my emotions it's really when i started to really finally own up to how i was feeling in life and what my feelings were don't get me wrong still in my 20s and 30s probably into my 40s maybe i still denied my emotions because they scared the crap out of me i didn't want to feel i just wanted to think um, so i'm one of those people who i over analyze and i over process and i overthink everything as a way to avoid feeling and there are people that are the opposite that my daughter she feels everything super intensely she's a massive empath emotionally you know whereas i'm much more intuitive and cognitive you know it's one usually or the other uh, and that's that's where i kind of was a talking head you know just uh, just up here because <laughs> it was safer to be just up here uh so that's where i was at in my late 20s and again diet and nutrition didn't do it so what i now this is hindsight so what i discovered once i became a practitioner is the reason why i didn't get the answers i wanted to at that time was because no one at that time understood the difference between our life force so i'm going to give you this is sort of the end of this video because i'm going to move on to this a little further in the next one but this epiphany like blew my mind when i discovered this it was like oh my god this makes so much sense how doesn't everybody know this well everybody doesn't but you can what's interesting about our life forces you know we talk about we have this amazing healing ability which we do you know you cut yourself you know and you clean it all up and you put a band-aid on it you put some salve on it whatever and you know you don't have to think about it you don't have to sit there and will it to get better it instinctively and it will just heal itself we have this ability the body can fix itself however let's say you break your arm and you know there's no amount of just you know that patching it up is going to fix it. It has to be corrected at a bigger level, right? So there are variables and there are limits to our healing capacity. We can't, we will make a bridge, you know, and fix that broken arm, but it might look like, you know, all kinked up because it wasn't realigned. So you, of course, you have to go to a doctor, have them realign and put a cast on. Then as it bone knits, it will heal perfected. So if you think about it, our amazing and healing ability that we have, this incredible life force that is within us that keeps us breathing and thriving and, and repairing ourselves all the time, whether we're thinking about it or not, can do amazing things, but it's limited. And it's this aspect that to understand that we have a, a life force that's actually dual in nature, just like everything in the world has a dual polarity. You can't have light without darkness. You know, you can't throw a ball up without it coming down. Yes, we have gravity. Well, that's the point of gravity is to keep this polarity going, right? So understanding that in all of life, there are polarities and in so is our life force of polarity. It has this amazing ability to heal us, but it's limited. So what I've learned in, um, in my course that I took is they talk about Dr. Hahnemann was very, very clear, the founder of homeopathy, or he discovered that there are two parts to our life force and one that is sustenative 
it's this amazing ability to naturally heal ourselves and it keeps us functioning um, unconsciously and what he called the sustentative life force. It sustains and maintains us in health. But the other side of this is this generative creative life force which has the ability to create life, to create thoughts, to create and cell proliferation, but it's what he called the generative life force. And these two forces come together and make up our whole life force. And the generative life force is that side that is a little more conscious and it takes a little more effort and it, it can be affected. So when this side affects this side, then and this side becomes damaged in some way, no amount of this is going to fix it. It has completely different laws and principles. And I will talk about these laws and principles in a further uh, video. I don't want to overwhelm you today. I just wanted to give you this insight of that we our life force is actually dual. It's not just one sort of amazing thing that we don't know anything about. We actually do. There is lots of science that ex can explain all of this. But what I'm going to explain to you is one thing I find, and this was one of the most amazing things for me, and what I often find with all of my clients that come one-on-one -on -one is, you know, they may be, they may be just like me. They been there, done that, tried everything, and they their regimen is phenomenal, you know? They have this incredible regimen. In fact, I get clients, you know, that are yeast systemic and, you know, in, you know, major autoimmune issues, and they're living in a little tiny bubble of what they can and they cannot eat. And they, they know, by dint of incredible effort, they can hold their health pretty good, as long as they stay in this little bubble, right? Maybe you're there. I know I've had tons of clients that were there and I was there too, you know, as long as I did these right, correct things with my diet. But the second I fell off, you know, I crashed and then I felt horrible, right? Why? Because no matter how much I gave myself over here on the sustentative side, no matter how much support I held myself up with, I still had all of this disease going on. You know, dis-ease at not only a physical body with my, as I said, my red blood cells were all clogged and too many because all this other stuff was going on down here because I also had, you know, diseased thoughts, diseased emotions. You know, I, you know, my kids used to say, why do you call everything a disease? Well, a true disease is something that affects every single person the same every single time. Again, an interesting law of the human organism, but it's a fact. And so it's, don't think of disease as ah, scary and creepy. A bruise is a disease. A bruise is a true impingement on the life force. It creates a blue, purple blood swelling and leukocytes and all that kind of stuff to, to protect and save itself. It, everybody that's going to get whacked on the arm with a bat is going to come up with a bruise. No matter where you live in the world, what your ethnicity is, no matter what, it's a true disease state. It just is. So, just getting back to diet and nutrition, if I have a load of mental emotional dis-ease, belief structures that are bogging me down and emotional baggage and crap and trauma on a more soul spiritual generative creative capacity, no amount of regimen is going to fix that. And this is what I love about the system that I do is that I can go in and I can say, okay, maintain this for now, but we're going to go over here and we're going to clean house and we're going to shift and release and let go of all this crap, this baggage you've been dragging along, those belief structures and inherent stuff and all that family stuff that isn't doing you any good that you'd want to get rid of. Uh, and then, then you can lower this and then you find your balance point. And that's where I got, but, in my 20s, late 20s is when I really started to actually recognize this. I didn't understand this whole thing that I just shared with you today till I went through and took my course later on in my 30s, 40s. But, and as I said, you know, I look, my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, and this is how I'll end this today, but we were just, we were talking and I said, you know, because she's just in her 20s and she's just going off to university and she's still struggling again. Check out last video how horrible we both believe high school years were. <laughs> and even after high school years, like it's that struggle of where am I going? Who am I? What am I doing? Right? I said, you know, it's okay. It is just a journey. It took me 35 years to figure out 
what I wanted to do, what my true passion in life was, to be this doctor of medical holocaust and homeopathy, to help others one-on-one -on -one by knowing this stuff. This is my calling. It took me 35 years to get there. So, you know, and it may have taken me 40 or 50 years. I mean, I'm in my 50s now and I'm still unwrapping this. So just remember is that it is just a journey. And hopefully you're enjoying listening to my crazy journey. And hopefully there's something in here that brings insight and a little bit of help towards you. So what I'm saying is this week, if you've been doing an incredible amount of regimen, nutrition, and you're like, mm, but I still don't feel great. Maybe you need to look at this stuff. And if you want, reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. And maybe we can set up a one-on-one -on -one if that's what you want to do. If you want to dig a little bit deeper. If not, have a look at my kits. All of my kits go into both sides. They deal with both at the same time, which is what's amazing about them. There's no other system out there that I've seen that does that. So anyway, thank you so much for listening this week and sharing along. I'd like to know, you know, where are you at with regimen and thoughts, emotions? What struggles have you had and where, what struggles do you have right now? You can do here, do it on my uh, Facebook page, do it on Instagram. You can message me privately, whatever works for you and whatever resonates with you, you know, that's the path you should go. So... For the rest of this week, thank you for following along. I hope you subscribe, ring the little bell so you, you know, make sure you don't miss next week's because definitely we're, we're going to keep getting deeper and deeper and further into this journey and hopefully there's some more insights that, you know, that I can share that will help you along the way. So until next week, thank you and have an incredible week and remember, be authentic, be empowered and own it completely. Until then, bye.